In this video, we are going to learn about permutation problems and how to calculate permutations with your calculator. First, let's remember what a permutation is. Permutation is all about picking and arranging objects. So in a permutation problem, you're always trying to figure out in how many ways can you pick and order or arrange a certain number of objects from a larger group. And the way we notate this is with something like 6p3. What this would mean is the number of ways to pick and arrange three objects from a set of six objects. So we can calculate this with our calculator. That's one quick way to do it. So 6p3, what you want to do first on your calculator is push the number 6. Then you go into math and scroll over until you see PRB, which stands for probability. Then notice we see NPR as the second option, and that's our permutation button. So go down and select that. Notice I had to put in the 6 first before pushing the NPR button. 6 is my N because it's the large set of objects that I'm choosing from. Next, I'm going to push 3 because I'm choosing and arranging 3 objects from that set of 6. And then I just push Enter and I get 120. So in this situation, I had N was 6 and r was 3, and the answer was 120, which means there are 120 different ways. If you have a group of six things and you want to choose and arrange three of them, there are 120 different ways to do that. So for example, just what, again, what this means is if you had a set of six letters, a, b, c, d, e, f, and what you wanted to do was take three of those letters and make little words, not necessarily English words, but just orders of three letters. And so, for example, one of those would be B E F. That's one way to choose three letters and have them in an order. Or another example would be A D F. And if you want to keep listing them out, there's 120 different ways to do that. So again, in your calculator, the way you do this is first put in the number that you have for n, which is always the number before the p. So for example, if we wanted to do 8p6, we would first push 8. Then you go into math, scroll over until you see the probability part. Then scroll down to NPR. And then click your second number, which is in this case, 6, and push Enter. And there we have 20,160. So if you have eight different objects and you're choosing and arranging six of them, there are over 20,000 different ways to do that. So we have our answer is 20,160. So that's how you can use your calculator to help you to solve permutation problems. And the biggest thing to remember is you're doing a permutation problem. If we're talking about order or if it says somehow the word arrange or arrangement.